back to my channel Makeup by Corinne. In this tutorial you will see me using a lot of new Tarte products that I got and the inspiration for this look actually came from a bride of mine that requested a rosy look. So this would be perfect for a daytime, wedding, any special occasion. So stay tuned if you want to see how I achieve this look. First, prep your face with MAC Fix Plus Spray. Apply a moisturizer to all of your skin. Really work in the moisturizer so all those dry spots are taken care of on your face. Next use Tatcha Spray and spray that all over your face and that will give us a dewy glow. Using MAC Lip Scrub in Vanilla, rub your lips exfoliating them and getting them ready for lipstick. Using MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre, work that all over the entire lid to ensure no creasing from your eyeshadow. Using the Tarte Palette Don't Quit Your Daydream, we're going to go in with the shade Rock On. With a Dellium Tool 787 brush, dust Rock On all over your eyelid. With a Wayne Goth 03 crease brush, choose the shade Lovey. Work that into the crease, keeping your eye open. Our next shade is Runway. Using a Wayne Goth 04 brush, work Lovey into the crease over Rock On. Using a MAC 224 brush, we're going to just buff out any harsh lines we may have had from before, blending both colors. With a MAC 217 brush, we are going to go in with the shade Work. We're going to concentrate on the outer V, blending that all into the outer corner of our eye. I'm going to go back in with my Wayne Goss 03 brush just to buff out any harsh lines we might have. Using Too Faced Glitter Glue, apply the glitter glue to your inner corner and your lid. On a MAC 283 SE brush, going in with the color Strive, pack that shade Strive all over your lid. With a MAC 230 SE brush, spray with Fix Plus and going in with Boss Lady. Apply Boss Lady to the inner corner of your eye and bring it to the inner side of your lid. Using a shader brush, using Shine On, apply that color to the brow bone. Next, using a pencil brush, this is the Wayne Goss 05. You want to start with all of the eyeshadows with the darker in the outer corner. Using Low Lights, a liner by MAC, and on a Tarte liner brush, you want to line the top lid only. We go over with a bronzy eyeliner color from Tarte, and again, just keeping that towards the outer corner of the eye. Next, you want to take a makeup wipe, and we'll clean up any fallout that we may have had from the shadow. We take a MAC eye coal in a rose gold tone, and we just want to line the inner waterline just to brighten up the eyes. Using Benefit Professional, apply the professional anywhere where you feel you may have deeper pores that you want to cover. Using a Makeup Forever foundation stick, the color is 118. Dot this all over your entire face. Using Cover FX Luster Drops, dispense a few drops to the back of your hand. Next, take a foundation brush. This is the Wayne Goss Foundation Brush. And in circular motions, start blending in your foundation. And this will help ensure it gets right into the skin. These drops also give you a glow. They're incredible.
using Tarte Shape Tape in Fair, you put this concealer under your eyes, down your nose, on your forehead, and on your chin just to highlight those areas. On a damp beauty sponge, start patting in and blending in all your concealer, but use a patting motion not to sweep it away. Next with the Laura Mercier powder, it's translucent setting powder. On a tapered brush, this one is a Wayne Goss brush, you want to set everywhere that you have put your concealer. This helps it from cracking and it will literally last you all day. MAC Medium Plus powder, a large fluffy brush. You want to set the rest of the foundation on your face using gentle patting motions. Anastasia Brow Palette, the Anastasia Brow Brush. I'm going in the soft brown. Brush your eyebrows up in the same direction. Then start going in and filling in your brows, following the natural shape of your brows. Take your tapered brush and just brush off any excess powder that you may have from setting or concealer. With the contour kit, take the banana shade with the tapered brush and start going underneath your eyes. With the bottom bronze color and a fluffy brush, start contouring your cheeks using a fluid motion sweeping back and forth and working that product up. This will keep it from looking muddy. Again, using that same brush, you'll want to work that into the cheeks and take that contour down to the jawline as well. The Too Faced Highlighter in Warm Glow on a Tarte Highlighter Brush. Start putting that highlighter where the natural sunlight would hit the contour of your face. Using MAC Blush and Rosy Outlook on a fluffy brush, just in small circles start working that blush into your face. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. You want to concentrate on the roots when you're putting your mascara on, really working that in and then pulling up. Give generously two coats of mascara to each eye. Popping on some lashes using, using House of Lashes Glue, MAC Prep and Prime. Put that on your lips and going in with the shade Faux by MAC. It's a beautiful color for everyday bridal, just a really nice color. MAC Lotus Flower Lip Gloss. Pat that over your lipstick for an extra pop. Then on your finger, you want to take your Too Faced highlighter and just dot that in the middle of your bottom lip. And here we have our finished look. This one worked for any occasion, even worked for daytime makeup. It's that neutral and soft, but yet feminine. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe to my channel. And please follow me on Instagram, and you can also go to my website, www.makeupbycorinne.com. Thanks for watching.